Nathan Thompson, welcome to Stevenage. First of all, how do you feel about signing today? Thank you. Um, yeah, over the moon. Um, I've had some um, good discussions with the, with the manager and he spoke about the project they're looking to achieve this season and yeah, really quite excited for it. It's a, it's a club that I've, I've played at numerous times before um, or against and it's always been a, a tricky opposition. So I'm looking forward to being on the other side now and, and seeing how we get on. You mentioned those conversations with the gaffer. Can you delve into a little bit more detail? He just spoke about it. He just said that he, he thinks he'd be a good manager for me at this stage of my career. He, he felt as though... Um, I'd be able to, to add to this team and on the, the back of last season and um, the high of being promoted, I, I felt that yeah my experience, especially at this level, was be able to contribute to hopefully a successful season. So, um, yeah, the manager was very open in, in what the sort of um, challenges are this season, but at the same time, what opportunities there are as well. And it's something I'm looking forward to. And you joined Stevenage after four years at Peterborough United. What was that like for you? Really enjoyable. Um, I think I look back on it. I, I put that out on, on Instagram when I left um, recently. It was a, something to look back on with, with pride. We were able to achieve promotion to the um, to the championship. And for a club that hadn't been in the playoffs for eight years, I think it was, it was something, yeah, I can, it was certainly a successful um, period in that sense. It ended tough in terms of losing that playoff semi-final. But, um, yeah, something I look back with with real pride. And you've now qualified for the League One playoffs, I think, four times in your career? About that four or five, I think, yeah. It's, um, as I say, it's, it's been a league that I've been battling to try and get out of for, for quite some time. And it's difficult. You see the teams that are in this division. There's some big, big clubs that have had success um, in the Championship and the Premier League. So, um, with no doubt, there was, there'll was there be tough challenges this season. Um, but it's something that I think I can draw on that sort of experience against those sorts of teams. That's a great experience to bring into the dress room. Hopefully these players have been in League 2 last season, but they need to step up to the mark for League 1. I like to think so. Um, but you see that they're more than capable. I mean, we, we come here and I think the three times we played, I don't think we beat Stevenage last season. So um, you always know, teams always know what they're going to be up against, uh, a well-organised team. And um, it will be a tough place to come for, for many of the big clubs. It certainly won't be coming here expecting um, an easy three points. So we've got to, to go out and... Um, defy the odds a little bit similar to what they did last season because I suspect the bookies will have Stevenage as, as being down near the bottom but there's capabilities the manager's talked about the sorts of players that he likes to, wants to bring in and, and help and, and grow this team and, and hopefully we, I can be involved in yeah a, a successful season You've spent your career battling for that top six in League One That's that must be a really good thing for the manager to see in you Yeah I think so I think it, it shows some some good sort of strengths and um, as I say, there's been certain times where it's been tough and you've had to grind it out and you can call on that and that will be no no different this season. So, um, yeah, he was, as I say, very open in his opinion of me and, and what he feels I can bring to the squad and, and hopefully I'm able to replicate on the pitch. And we've seen a few years ago you were playing your trade as a right-back, but more recently you've been a centre-back. Um, where do you see yourself fitting into this team? Wherever the, the manager wants me, I think... Um, yeah, I think go back to 2015, which when we got to play final at Swindon, I was middle of the back three, and at the time it was, it was quite sort of new and novel in that sense, that sort of position. It wasn't something that many teams implemented. However, fast forward seven, eight years, and it is something that teams like to do a lot more, and, and the gaff has been quite open in terms of that playing style and, and looking to use me like that. But I've also played probably 10 years at, at right back, and so I've got different skills and strengths and maybe I'm not the most um, attack minded um, right back and more probably I prefer the defensive aspect of the game and it's something that when times get tough you can you can draw on but um, I'll play wherever the gaffer needs me to play. And in, in the defence you'll be alongside Captain Kofi Jani and, and Dan Sweeney, they're two man mountains in themselves um, that'd be a good partnership to form with them I'd like to think so um, you saw how successful those boys were in terms of set pieces and, and dominating at the back last season and, and hopefully I can I can only add to that um, that's certainly what I, I aim to do um, and yeah, if you're able to contribute in the amount of goals that those boys were contributing last season um, it gives you half a chance so um, it will certainly give it a, a good go and hope to be able to yeah, add to what those boys brought to the table last year. And just finally, obviously with your participation in the playoffs last season, you've had a little bit less time off than the other players, but how do you feel in yourself? Are you excited for the new season already? Yeah, I think, strangely, um, that participation was slightly um, 
I'd, I'd picked up an injury. I had about, what was it, four weeks prior to the end of the season, I, I was caught in the tackle and, and rolled my ankle. So strangely, I'd sort of had a little bit of a break in, in many ways and not wasn't playing um, week in, week out, leading up into the playoffs. Um, it was nice to have two weeks where you could just sort of forget about football because if I'm honest, the, the pain after the, the playoff semi-final was, was tough to take. But it gets to a stage now where you're itching to get back. Football is a condition to, to be on the pitch and to train in most days. So after the novelty of the, the first couple of weeks where it's off, boys are itching to get back at it. But with pain comes hunger and hungry for success next season now. Absolutely. It goes without saying. Um, and as I've, I've mentioned throughout this recurring theme is calling on those sorts of those moments um, to experience what experience was was not nice and that's what football can do to you it's a roller coaster of emotions at times and that'll be the case throughout the season there'll certainly be high moments and there'll be low moments but we've got to remain relatively um, somewhere in the middle and 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 hopefully we can carry the momentum that they had at the back end of last season into this year that's great Nathan welcome Steve thank you very much I'm looking forward to it